We're gonna go through color theory. The idea behind smoky eye is that you want to do it as gracefully as possible with the least numbers of cleanups and the least amount of frustration. I always like to teach people because I'm assuming that they're starting at zero. I teach people how to do a smoky eye in a way that is easiest to blend. That took me like five years to figure out. Took me five years to figure out that not everyone is a celebrity makeup artist and that is okay. <laughs> let's give you some foolproof ways to get a great blend. So let's start with the contour palette. Locate the lightest color in your six color contour palette. Your lightest color. That one is your highlighter. On the eye area, that can be used for the highlight zones. Next, we're looking for a transition shade. That's always gonna be like your step two for having the best blending. Your transition shade is going to transition whatever is the darkest part on your lid, gives it some grace to blend into your highlight. So qualifiers for a transition shade are, you're looking for something that is medium in depth, not super dark, little bit darker than your highlight color, and think in terms of you could find it in nature, like a rock on the beach. No shimmer. For beginners, stay away from shimmer. So there's two colors in your contour palette that could be transitions. So think it looks like a pebble on the beach. It's medium in color, looking for earth tones, butterscotch and grayish. Those would be my two top picks for a transition. Qualifiers are they're matte, so they're not shiny. It's gonna give you a really seamless transition. The second thing is they look like a pebble on the beach. Grays, it could be browns, it could be tans. If you went to a natural setting, like in nature, could you find a rock that color on the beach? Typically, yes. Next, we're going to go into the darkest color inside your six color palette, your chocolate. That one is called an intensifier. So if you're gonna use your six color contour palette to do your eyes and you need some intensity, you need some real color to deposit, you wanna pack some punch, you're looking for your diva shade. That's your intensifier. Now we're going into accent colors. Accent colors for me, they're not the same as transition at all. When I'm looking for an accent color, I'm looking for something to like pop some color on my lid. I'm looking for something to halo underneath my eye. It's not necessarily the star of the show, it just adds a little pop at the end. There's two shades in your contour palette that could be considered an accent color. They're shimmery, and they would just add a little bit of pizzazz at the end the rose shimmer and the bronze shimmer. Now I want you to pick up your five color shadow palette. What qualifies as a highlighter? Lightest in the palette and what else qualifies as a highlighter? It has to be lighter than the skin on your cheek. So sometimes you'll get a palette and it'll have like a light brown in there and that's the lightest color. That's not a highlighter. Just because it's the lightest shade in a palette doesn't mean it's a highlighter. It still has to be lighter than your skin so it stands out on camera. Next, let's find your transition shade. Tell me qualifiers. Looks like a pebble on the beach. Natural or earth tones. Matte, looking for a matte. Is there anyone that has a palette that doesn't have a seamless transition color? We see mermaid palette. Why, why is it weird to look for a transition in the mermaid palette? Tell me what's missing. There's not a matte, they're all metallics. So in a scenario where you have a palette that's all metallics, but you have your contour palette on deck as well, very, very cool thing about that is in your highlight and contour palette, we're gonna go deeper into color theory. The grayish has what kind of an undertone? like a neutral, and it's called grayish because it has a gray undertone to the brown. So gray lives in the blue families. Check out in the Gilded Angels palette, there's a highlighter in the center and there's a gray and like a blue color on one end. What transition would fit with that color family? Grayish versus if you used on the other side of that palette, there would be the highlighter, and then there's kind of a coppery gold, and then like a dark rose gold in there. What could you use from this palette to transition? Butterscotch, because it's more of that warm family. Next in your palette, point out the intensifier for me, and shout out qualifiers. 
the darkest color in your palette. Some of the intensifiers have shimmer in them. Like for example, there's like a black shimmer in the White Horse palette. It's okay if those have sparkle to them, that's okay. Awesome. Next, let's go ahead and find some accent colors. So we have a highlight, you'll have a transition, you'll have a really dark one, and then two accent colors to play with. Most are like that. There's two palettes that are straight metallics, and when you have all metallics, you get to pull from your contour palette to transition. Mm -hmm. 